It's a marine mystery. Beachcombers say these squid began washing up near Aptos on Sunday. Oh man, there's probably thousands. You know? There's a lot of them all up and down. By the end of the day, most of the squid had been eaten. Norman Agillian says the seagulls have been gorging themselves. Our dogs wanted to go after them because they're all sitting on the beach. <laughs> they had their full. Researchers with the Hopkins Marine Station at Stanford are trying to figure out why these Humboldt squid ventured out of their native waters in the Sea of Cortez near the Baja Peninsula. This is the first time I've seen squid, and it's definitely the first time I've seen really big squid. And these are just the babies. Adult Humboldt squid can grow to six feet long and a hundred pounds. But researchers say all of these squid are juveniles. They were likely conceived and born in Monterey Bay and were unable to make it out to sea. When I came yesterday, they were still alive, some of them. They were still moving in the ponds, and their bodies were all intact. This isn't the first stranding. Researchers recorded smaller strandings over the past two months from Santa Cruz to Pacific Grove. Now they'll be examining the contents of their stomachs to see if they died from natural or unnatural causes. The beaches of Santa Cruz County are littered with the carcasses of thousands of Humboldt squid. They've stranded themselves from Aptos to Watsonville, a span of 12 miles. You just see them essentially killing themselves and it's just really weird to see. It happened yesterday during high tide. Some people actually tried to put them back in the water, but researcher Hannah Rosen says the deep water creatures swim right back to shore. They don't see the shore very often, so it might just be that they don't understand what's going on around them and they're just trying to get away and don't realize that if they swim towards the shore, they're going to run out of water eventually. They're juveniles, both male and female, about a foot and a half long, weighing roughly three pounds. They had full stomachs, having feasted on smaller market squid. A few had also cannibalized each other, which is normal. To be honest, researchers have no idea why this is happening, but they think it's because the squid have eaten toxic algae. It's possible that the squid are ingesting either these neurotoxins or they're getting it through their food, and that could be causing them to be disoriented and swim onto the beach. Humboldt squid haven't been in the Monterey Bay for a few years. Scientists believe El Nino weather patterns may have drawn them to the cool water in Northern California. This is the third stranding in six weeks. It's really an exploratory time for us, so we're learning more about what causes these strandings and whether or not we should be worried about them or if it's just a natural part of the squid cycle. In Aptos, Kipto, CBS 5.